you want to transform usual things into totally awesome accessories? Watch our video to know how to do it. We'll deliberately misuse a white glue bottle by putting in liquid foundation. We'll need a little white glue bottle with a dispenser and an empty cup. Pour the glue in the cup. We'll need it later in our DIYs. Take the foundation. Remove the dispenser. Take it out using a wooden stick. Squeeze it into the clean and dry glue bottle. Put on the cap with the dispenser top. Let's see how it works. Make the dispenser loose. Shake the bottle. Cool! The foundation is squeezed in small portions. The container is weird, but practical. The dispenser works even better than in the original foundation tube. No one will guess what is inside the glue bottle. Have you broken your eyeshadow, powder, or rouge? No problem! There's a quick and easy way to recover your favorite makeup. Put them into the empty paint pots. Transfer the powder to the pot. You can use tweezers. Crush the eyeshadows. Use a nail file or little spatula. Now the rouge. Crush the big pieces with a wooden stick. The less particles you have, the better you can apply the eyeshadows or rouge. You may press them to get the best result. It's quite practical to get all the makeup left over in one fitting package. Oh my beloved lip gloss! The wiper has been broken, but there's still much gloss inside. What should I do? We'll use a tiny sparkly gel paint tube. Take a clean and dry container. Transfer the lip gloss in. Put on the dispenser and the top. The new suitable container will let your lip gloss last for a long time. It won't smudge your hands anymore and it will fit well in your pencil case. Let's turn the lip gloss into a marker. We'll need a permanent marker with the cap of the same size. Take it off. Put the cap on the gloss top. Wonderful! It fits well. Decorate the container with the sparkly tape. Take any color you like. Wrap around the vial. Cut it off. Add a glittering stripe to the cap. Cut off the excess and attach the end. Check how it works. Awesome! It's even better to handle the lip gloss with this big suitable top. Your friends will hardly guess there's lip gloss in this sparkly marker-shaped container. The eye-catching marker with the lip gloss filling will fit your pencil case well. A black makeup marker? Why not? Cut off the top. Remove the wadding. Apply hot glue inside. Put in a brow gel vial. A thin mascara or lip gloss container will do as well. I urgently need to write something down. I grasp a marker at hand, but my friend takes it from me. She shows what it really is. It's not a school supply anymore, but a beauty product to take care of your brows. It's a great idea for school. Nobody thinks the makeup is inside. Do you think it's impossible to moisturize your lips or apply lip balm with your pen? Though it sounds weird, it's possible. Remove the plug from a pen. It's rounded top of yellow color. Fasten the refill with hot glue. Pour hot glue onto a piece of plastic. Submerge a pen with the same shaped plug in oil. Put it in the hot glue to make a mold. You can rotate the pen holding it upright. When the glue hardens, remove the pen. Cut out a piece of lip balm. Melt it, adding yellow pigment or eyeshadow. Pour it in the glue mold. Carefully remove when cool. Pour a little of the melted balm into the pen. Attach the new plug. The pen looks exactly like it used to. The difference is a lip care feature. You can use your pen now to moisturize your lips. If you add the color of your favorite lipstick, you'll be able to apply tone on your lips. Does your friend need a pen? I look for it in my makeup bag. Aha! Here it is! It's not a plain pen, but a lip balm topped one. It can both write as a pen and care for my lips as lip balm. My friend is astonished. 
She's never seen such an awesome thing. An amazing pencil sharpener is a great way to prank your friend. Don't you know what to do with blush left over? Crush it with a wooden stick. Add rubbing alcohol and stir up. Shape a little ball. Make a few elements. A pink round pencil sharpener will make a perfect container for this DIY blush. Remove the sharpener. Cover the hole with a piece of plastic. Transfer the blush balls into the container. Add a little brush. No one will guess what it actually is. Oops! My pencil's broken, but I left my sharpener at home. I'll ask my friend to give it to me. It doesn't work. I should open it and see what's wrong. Oops! Something scattered out. Some pink balls and a brush. It's blush! It's a practical thing, by the way. The little round container fits in either my pencil case or makeup bag. I'll prank her back with blush in the glue stick container. Don't hurry to throw away your broken makeup. Use it to prank your friend. Crush the broken blush. Add some rubbing alcohol. Put in a few drops of vitamin E. Transfer the hot pink mixture into an empty glue stick container. We've cleaned up all the glue remains. Press it over with a paper napkin to get the excess moisture out. The leftover alcohol will evaporate soon. Does your friend need glue? Offer your special one to her. She opens it. What's this? Can the glue be made of this eerie color? Show her how it works. She wants to try it now. She seems to like it. This cute makeup set can be easily mixed up with artist paint. We'll show another way to give a second life to your broken makeup that will surprise your friend. Transfer crushed eyeshadow into an empty paint palette. Add some water. Mix it with eyeshadow. Cover it with a paper napkin and press over to remove the excess moisture. Clean the palette with a Q-tip. Except instead of eyeshadow, there will be blush in the palette and lipstick that you can't use in its container. Melt the remains above the flame. Pour it in the container. Add another color. We've got a smart, low-cost makeup setup. It's made from the broken beauty products that are usually thrown away. I ask my friend to give me a mirror. Oops! How clumsy of me! I've broken her favorite eyeshadow. It's the right time to give her my special little gift. I wanted to prank her with the makeup palette, but I feel I should present it to compensate my clumsiness. Aha! She liked it and forgot her trouble. Do you need to fix a smudged nail? Make a DIY nail polish remover jar to solve your manicure problems quickly and easily. Take a big pencil sharpener. Better choose a metal container or thick plastic of a good quality. We don't need the sharpener itself, only the container. If you fail to remove the sharpener, cover it with hot glue. Pour the glue in the hole. Take a thick sponge. Trace the top with a marker. Cut off the excess. We should get a cylinder. Put it in the container. Make a long cut at a nail depth. Pour in some nail polish remover. Note, it's a strong solvent that could damage thin plastic containers. The Magic Sharpener is ready to remove your nail polish. Just insert your finger in the slit and hold it for a couple of minutes while the soaked sponge removes the nail polish. It's especially convenient to fix a smudged nail when the others are well manicured. I'm going to prank my friend with weird school supplies shaped as makeup. Cut off the tip of a marker that doesn't write anymore. Trim up a makeup pencil to fit the marker size. Put it in. Shade the wooden part in the marker color. Does your friend need a marker of a particular color? Give her your special one. She can't understand what's wrong with the marker. It looks like regular stationery, but writes in a different way. It certainly does, because it's an eye marker. It is! Don't you believe it? Okay, we'll reveal the secret. It's actually a makeup pencil inside the marker body. Don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to comment, give your thumbs up and click the bell. Watch our new videos together with your friends.